Uh, my name is Sherry Gertsch. I'm 36 years old. Um, I was born in Warren, Pennsylvania. Um, my fiance and I, we had a rough little patch and happenstance happened to get a hold of me to help us out. Um, so I'm here today videotaping with them to tell my story. We moved up here with some friends of ours to stay. Um, wasn't quite working out. I was there about two months and my fiance Chad, he was there about a month. Um, things just weren't working out quite well. Um, and we were needing another place to go and some help. Chad is from North Carolina, um, came up here on a bus, it was like 20 hours, <laughs> it was a long trip, um, talked to him the whole way up here, text messaging, he called me, um, took him through Tennessee, up through Ohio, and then into Pennsylvania, which is kind of strange, instead of making a straight shot up, but and he came with one duffel bag, um, one pair of pants, and maybe six shirts and a pair of shoes. Uh, he came up um, October 2nd, he was here. Um, picked him up in Erie at the bus station at I think like 10.30. Mm -hmm. um, he was really happy to see me. <laughs> um, like I said, we were staying with some friends that had helped us out, um, gave us a place to stay. Um, I was working, I, I got a job right away, um, but ended up, the job wasn't good on my hands and I ended up with carpal tunnel and in the process of dealing with that at the moment. Um, so I've been laid off of work, um, but we just moved um, to Meadville, um, got an apartment on Sunday which was the First, yep, um, we moved in there that night. Um, landlord is an amazing guy, he's pretty cool. Um, don't have much for anything. We have a bed, a small dresser, a TV. That's about it. <laughs> um, I have to go see a doctor about my hands. I gotta get a family doctor. Um, I applied for state medical. I'm um, waiting for that so I can get that going. Um, I gotta find a doctor in Meadville um, and then see what he says and possibly go see a specialist. Um, so it kind of depends, you know, on what goes on there. Um, I know I can't do much with them. Um, holding a cell phone for five minutes make them hurt. Um, the texting, like moving, you know, my thumbs to text that puts a, a painful throb through them. Um, constantly tingling, they go numb at the fingertips quite often. Um, 
I, I don't carry much because, like I said, they hurt. Um, just roughhousing around uh, makes them hurt. Um, they're usually taped up with ace bandages. Um, I have them off at the moment. Mm -hmm. I was told they do each hand separate, um, so I'm thinking if I can get in to see a doctor within a month, um, he'll send me to a specialist that'll probably take maybe two weeks. I'm assuming they'd probably get me in pretty quick. And then maybe a month after that um, would probably be scheduled surgery if needed. Holidays might be a little rough for us. Um, don't have any family in the vicinity. Um, two brothers live down in North Carolina. I have a sister that's in New York and one that's actually in Pennsylvania, um, but we don't socialize much. Um, Chad's family is all down south. So the holidays might be a little stressful, especially if we don't have a table, because eating on a bed Thanksgiving dinner hmm. <laughs> doesn't sound fun, but it's doable. Um, the apartment that we got is really amazing. Um, everything in it is nice and clean. Everything is like brand new in it. Um, hardwood floors I love. I love hardwood floors. Um, everything in it is, is just, it's amazing. New carpets, new paint. Um, the location is pretty nice. Um, it takes me about 10 minutes, I think, to walk to the little store that's down the street. Um, and probably 15 minutes to the quick fill that's below that. Um, so if we need anything or you don't need to walk to the store, it's pretty close. Um, there's a school behind us. You can watch the football games. Um, the apartment's pretty quiet. There's four apartments in it. Um, don't hear too much noise, so it's pretty quiet. Um, happenstance helped us. Um, they had paid for a month's rent and the security deposit for our apartment. Um, has helped us with, out with some groceries, some pots and pans because we have nothing to cook in. Um, they've been a, a really nice bunch of people. They've helped us out a lot. They helped us move. Um, they picked us up at the place we were staying at um, that we could no longer stay there. Um, they came pretty late at night, I think it was like around 8 o'clock. Um, helped us pack up the truck and took us to the new apartment and helped us carry everything up to the third floor, <laughs> um, which wasn't really a lot of stuff, like I said, um, but they, they, they've helped us out a lot. These people are amazing.